Yes. So if you guys remember last last week, we worked on uh on on Panda. Panda library. And don't forget when we are talking about library, library is a is 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 a, is a combination of codes, right? Or sorry, of yeah, of 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 codes of packages. So instead of you writing your own code from the beginning, we have libraries that already have that already have codes that perform almost similar functions. For instance, we have the pandas, we have the numpy, and we also talk about, we also spoke about the panda data frame and how you can do subsetting of different panda data frame, right? So we spoke about that the last time we we met. So today we are going to work more on numpy array and matrix. Non-pi array and matrix, and I know for people that have probably done some level of advanced mathematics in high colleges in college or high school, you might have seen example of matrix, right? And this is an example of matrix. That is, you see, this is different from a typical from a, a normal list. You know, for instance, if you have a list can be x equals to let's say x equals to let's say two three five six right this is a this is a list right but when you have when you have when you now have an array an array is going to be like you have a list right in a list so let me just put it in that simple time so we have you can see this open this first bracket then another bracket one two three comma five eight nine right so if you run this script and you run this script so let me let's let's ask for data type. Let's say print type. Let's look for type of A, right? Let's print type of X2, right? So you know, yeah, it's still given they excuse they are still all what they are still all list, right? But there is a way you can attend to this in form of a numpy array, right? So you know, don't forget when you have when you have this kind of sharp off bracket, you are referring to a list. But when you have this kind of bracket, let me show you this kind of bracket. This then that is when you are talking about a dictionary. So the numpy array is also like, yeah, let me that numpy array is like so list is like a single dimension, yes. Single dimension, right? Why numpy non why numpy can be like starting from two to three dimension? Yes, this is what I mean. If you look at this, that we have here, if you look at this, this is just one dimension, a street. This one is also a street, right? So you can have this as a street list, right? And you can also have it the same way. So now, when you are now working with, there are some level of list whereby you have it in a kind of, in a kind of dimension, in a kind of a, a column and rows. Let me give you an example of. So if you look at, let's see, if you look at this A now, let's form a new A, right? So we have one, four, five, twelve, comma, right? A new. This is, so this is a new a row. The another row starts five. Minus five eight nine zero comma then a new row six seven eleven nineteen right so if you compare this this is just one dimension and this is a two dimension so in this regard this is going to be just one row right but if you look at this a here we have one row two row three row and we have colon Another column, so this is going to be based on index. The label, the number is going to be still going to be on index. So this is going to be index O row, index one row, index two row. The same thing is applicable to the column, column O, right? Index O column, index one column, index two column, index three column, right? Do you get the point now? So the same thing. Let me try to. Copy this so that you can understand. I don't want to have too much. Okay. So if I should 
print a all right can you see is it going to is it going to show me this but there's a way we can approach this right by using the typical way for instance now let me for instance let's say we want this is let's look at this let's look let's look at this as rule index zero rule index one rule index two right Col index index zero colon index one colon index two colon index three colon so you can see is you can see that now if you now if you want to let's say you want to let's let me try to let's let me try to do this i don't want to i don't want to i don't want to put i don't want to put it to to get everything together let's say print right print a that's a right so let's say you want to just almost the same manner like we did for the pandas if you remember the pandas but the difference is in under pandas we used to have log and i log function but in this piece we don't need both log and i log so let's print let's say let's say we want to print let's say we want to print we want to print this we want to print one right now if you are if you want if you are interested in printing one right that's going to mean a and if this is this is index zero rule right then that's going to be o so let's before let, let's first of all print only this rule this index rule o this index zero can you see because this is index zero, and that is what that is what we have here. Now, let's say you now want to print. You want to print maybe just one function of a, one one particular element. Let's say let's want to print four. So it's going to be on colons col, uh, rule zero, right? Are you are you there now? And we are concerned about we are interested in printing this colon right let's say colon one colon one no okay so with this okay with colon colon one it still print everything for us no we can okay i think this is what you're supposed to do so colon, colon one yes sorry about that so if you want to print a particular so you have to use this bracket twice so the first bracket so let me let me try to put something to print to print a particular particular element in in a multi dimension yeah multi dimension dimension list right that's rule and colon right so it's going to be it's going to be this this so this is going to be your this is going to be your colon and this is going to be your rule do you get it now so once once like we have this multi dimension so we want to print that is going to be rule colon so rule colon so in this example that i give here so we want to print but we want to print this particular element four from this variable a right so to do that the first thing is print we have to specify the variable a right the open bracket from which rule we are printing from rule index zero right then which colon are we interested in we are interested in four and the colon index number of this colon four is what it's one this zero one so that's why we have it here right so the same thing is what I repeat here. Now, let me show you what, what, what is here. So now, 
for this point A, right? So the purpose of this is just a string, a string to give us, you know, if you look at this piece now, let me show you the difference between this. Let me show you print, right? Let's see, let me print A. Colon zero one. Yeah, this is right equals to equals to a o one. Oh, sorry, on the on on terminator string. Okay. Oh, sorry. Do you know what happened on terminator string? I already have my open bracket here. I was supposed to put an open bracket here. Right. Yes. So can you see what happened? What this place is the first one says print. The element, the the element on row zero and on column one, that is four. So I want to just show, just to put this string, that element zero, uh, row zero, column index one, right? Row row index zero, column index one is equals to four. That's just what I. That's why I have this. So this string that we have here is not part of the code. It's just a written word. It's just a written word. It's just like saying, let me give another one. Let's say print. So it's just like I'm let's say print the boy is now the boy is now look at what I'm trying to do. Comma now a zero a one right comma let me not put yes old no okay let's see what happened so something must have happened okay perhaps you don't get a comma so it's telling me there's a problem here right so let's look at it this okay okay let's try to put a comma here let me try to do some let's try to do something okay let's see this okay it's still giving us the same error okay let's look at that Okay. Don't it to be there? Okay. The boy is see, let's try to look at this together and see where the problem lies. The boy is okay. Let's see. So I'm just trying to show you that you can just use that to. This is this are just string. They are not really part of the code. They are just string statements. The boy is some. Let's start to see what is giving us invalid syntax on this part. Okay, I think what that is means. Let's remove four year old. Let's remove the year old. Okay, so that means the boy is four, right? So can you see? So this is just a string statement that is coming before the actual. So this. Code A in brackets rule zero plum index one is referring to this four. Oh. So this one is just a string, and that is why it's on bracket. If I should remove the bracket, this is going to give me an index error. So the bottom so print four. Can you see? Then print A rule zero rule index zero plum index one equals to four. That is this. And that we can see the boy is four. Do you get that now? So 
So the same, exactly the same thing that I did here. So point A, point A equals to the value of A. And that is all, that's like the value of A that you see here. Now, point A, rule one. Now, rule index one. So if you look at the rule index one here, the rule index one is going to, so this is zero, one, two. So this is the index one, minus five, eight, nine, zero. So that's what, that's what this code means. So print rule one. Print A rule one equals to A rule one. So this now. The other one says print A rule index one and colon two. So if you come here, this is, this is rule one. Index number two, zero, one, two. What I'm saying is point nine. Can you see that? Point nine. So under this place two, you say print A, print A, roll index zero. Now, look at this. Plus minus one. I think I, I, I didn't mention this to you. So when, if you're, if, because index starts from zero, right? So this is zero. One, two, three. Now, as you can label that from here, like this way, zero, one, two, three. You can also label from the back, backward, from 12, this backward. This is, so it's going to be minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. So when you are labeling backward, it's not going to start from zero. We know there is no minus zero. So it's going to be minus one, minus two, Minus three, minus four. So when I input, go to when I input rule index zero, this is index zero minus one. That means I'm talking about 12. Right? So that's what this script is all now. Now, if now another thing you can also do, let me let me take away, let me take away this part. So I don't let me let me compress so that it can. That's why I always like to send this thing to you at the end of our presentation because I know there will have been some additions to the script. Now, can you see this now? Point A. A equals to this. Now, A index, A rule index one. Rule index one is this. And that is why you are seeing minus five, eight, nine, and zero. Right? Print A. Index rule index one from index two equals to so when that, so that's let's look at it that that's rule index one this is rule index one then column two zero one two and that is why it's equals to nine can you see that the last one says print a index zero column minus one right so if this is index zero right Column minus one, like if we are cutting from behind, this is 12 is going to be the minus. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. So let's let's do the same thing. Let's let's put minus three. Print A O minus three, right? Equals to A O minus three. Right. Can you see? So if you look at this, minus three from index uh, rule index zero. This is rule index zero. Minus three. Let's count minus one, minus two, minus three is equals to four. Do you do you see that? So you can decide to use the minus type. You can use, decide to use the normal index type of zero to whatever number. So it doesn't really matter. So let me let me uh, let me put this code. So now so now what you are trying to do now is we are trying to make new, we are trying to make a new list. So column is the name of the list equals to an empty list. So for rule in A, now look at it. For rule in A, that means for all the for rule, all the rule in A, column dot append. 
append, you know, when you want to use append, append is to add a value. If you remember that, rule two. Now print third colon. So before that, let me first of all print, let's first of all print, print colon first. Now, look at this. We said column is an empty. It's empty. There is no value for it. It's an empty one. So for rule in P, so for all the rules, we have three rules. One, two, three. Rule index zero, index one, and index two. Did you get that? Now, colon dot append rule two. Rule equal to now print colon. Now, if you look at this, this is nine, five, eleven. Do you get that? Nine, five, and eleven. So the third colon. Sorry, I'm trying to look at something here. Okay. Append colon rule two. Yes. So that's five, nine, eleven. Then the third column is still five, nine, and eleven. Yes. So for rule in A, right? So for all the rule in A, colon dot append rule two. So rule two, we're talking about that's so rule two is going to rule two. Then print colon. And that's going to, I'm trying to see what that script is working on. Colon two, print third colon. Equals to colon. Yeah. So we use this to, to, to create a new colon, a third, a, a third colon, right? And that colon, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry. I think this 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 is my mistake. I'm coming. Just give me one second. A colon nine five. I'm coming. Yes. Now look at this. Look at what happened. This is what happened now. This is we have this colon. We have want to create a new a new variable called colon, and the colon is empty because it's empty because we want to create a new colon from the existing list of p. So for root p. Right, colon dot append. So, what you are saying there is for the rule in A, append on rule colon number two, colon two. So, let's come down. Let's let me let's see. This is rule one, rule two, rule three, right? Then, colon two. This is colon zero, one, and two. So we are extracting all this rule, this, all this colon, right? From A. And we are forming a new, we are creating creating that a new colon variable, which is 9511. And that is what you have here. So let me show you. So colon is empty for rule in A. Append colon rule, append colon dot append rule colon two. So if you look at this, is colon. This is this so column two is zero one zero one two. So the third value. So the third value for this rule is five, right? The third value for this rule is nine. Then the third value for this rule is eleven. And that's how we are create a new column. So you can use this same approach, right? Or use this the, the previous approach that I have that we have here to, 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 to arrive at that at that point. So everything has to do with your understanding, which one is convenient. I'm telling you, you can write a, a script of 10 lines, right? And your script is, is, is going to work. And someone that is maybe that is more advanced in Python can summarize that 10 line script that you've written to maybe like four or three lines. It doesn't matter. What matters is you have either your, either your script is 10 lines Either your script is three lines. What matters is at least whatever you are expecting the code to perform, the command to perform is performing it. So 
with time as you are also developing, you will be able to compress your 10 lines command to six, five, four, or even lower, right? So just understand the approach and use your knowledge to put down your own script in the best way you understand. Yeah. So another another uh, thing I want us to look is NumPy is a okay before we before we go to that. Do we have any question? If anything is not clear on this regard, please. Anything that is not clear on in the, on this part, you can put something on the chat. If you can't say something, you can probably drop something on the chat. Anything, if any, anything that is not clear on this. So the approach is almost the same as the norm as the pandas. But the pandas is we always use the i lock or the lock function to do to attend to each rule and each column. But in this regard, we are not using that. We just use our bracket because we are working more or less like a, a non pi array in form of a list. Right. Okay, so NumPy is a package for so that is just talking about a that is just talking about a general list. So the NumPy is a package for scientific computing, which has support for powerful multi dimension, and that end can be from two to any number dimensional array object. So when you have a list like this, you can use NumPy function, the NumPy package or library, right? perform a lot of mathematical functions on a list of arrays like this. And we are going to use an example. And one thing about this NumPy array is you have to install it. Please take note of that. And I think I told, I showed you guys how you can do the installation. There are two ways you can do installation. You can, if you, do, if you have a package and you don't know how to do the installation, just type on your browser. Th thank God for the, another thing is, if you, if you don't know what is called, what the, there, is, there is what is called Stack Overflow. Stack Overflow is a community of programmers, right? Where people put whatever challenges they have faced. Let me put it in a chat for you. Stack Overflow. Stack Overflow. It's called Stack Overflow. Let me put it for you. Stack Overflow. Let me put it for you guys on the chat. Yeah, Stack Overflow is a community where programmers all over the world, when you have any issue with any you with your with your script, go there, type it. The whatever, or maybe you are type, maybe you are doing a computing, and the Python is giving you an error message. Copy that error message. Go type it either you type it on your browser directly or you go to this link and you put it there. You will see people with similar experience and they will give you advice on how you can go about whatever error you are getting, right? So don't when you encounter an error with Python, don't stress yourself. You are not only you are not the only person that is facing those challenges. Go to your browser, type it. You can also go to your browser and type how can I install this package for example how can i install numpy in numpy package in python when you type it it will give you how you, it will give you out with good description of how you can do the installation right so whatever problem you are facing with this in fact you can even type python script for calculating whatever you want to do or python script for anything your, your, your browser the internet is your friend you can use it there is no crime in that by the time you start using it, you two will start getting understanding and you, you will be less dependent on, on, on the internet, right? But it's, it's not a crime as a beginner to use either Stack Overflow or typing your challenges or your errors or your question on, on your browser. It is not a crime. You can do that. So you can browse, you can type how to install NumPy in Python on your browser. Or the last time I showed it to you, you can go to your Anaconda, right? When you go to Anaconda, remember that page? You can go take all, then type NumPy. The moment you are typing NumPy, you will see it will give you the list of NumPy. Click on the one that is applicable to you, that you, you are interested in, then click Apply on the right below. You will see that Apply, it will install it for you. 
So once you install, the next thing is for you to import. When you want to do mathematical work for a dimensional array or a list, right? A multi-dimensional array or multi-dimensional list, you can apply NumPy array to do that. So the first thing to do is to let me let me let me let me do this. So import. So don't forget when you are working when you want to work with the package import numpy package. So the first thing is to import. So import numpy. I told you, you can say import numpy. But instead of writing NumPy every time, you can say import NumPy as NP. So you designate that as, if you designate that at the end time, instead of typing NumPy, you just use NP as an abbreviation. Now, to create, to create, create a, to create a, an array using NumPy, right? Let me try to give some comment to create. And are we using num pi use use num pi dot are we right so if you want to create an we want to create an array right using num pi all you need to do what is the variable our variable is a small letter a equals to num pi which is np dot array right in bracket in the open bracket then in the list bracket the, the your, your array right so in this case we have one two three so print a and also print the type of a for us can you see this is num the, the class is numpy nd array right so it's not it's not going to give us but if you look at this one this one is giving us a list because we did not use the numpy dot array function. So when you use so when you, you use in this case, we use the numpy array function. Now, so you know you standard, this is this is a single dimension. Yes. Single dimension numpy array. You can as well create a multi-dimension by having a right np dot array in bracket, right? One, two, three, comma. Three, four, five, as many as you may, you may have. Let's try another one. For let's say b equals to numpy dot array in bracket open bracket because I'm I want to I want to do more I want to have multiple. Let's say 20, 23, 30, so you can you can you can have it as if either as a float or as an integer, whichever one you want to have it. 40. So once you don't comma, then let's do this. Okay. So let's have one more. Okay. It's nine is right. So let's see. The first thing you have to check your bracket. So this it's even given. So when you see red here on Python, that means the bracketing, the bracket is not not is not complete yet. Yeah, it's complete now. So let me say print. B and also print type of B. Can you see now? So can you see this is in this is a three dimension. This is one, two, three. We have three rows and we have four columns, right? This is the can the class is what numpy array. When you have things like this, right, and this is more or less like a matrix in mathematics, right, and you can you know we can do addition, subtraction, multiplication, all sort of things, right. So to to do mathematical function on a, on a data set like this, 
you need NumPy array to perform that. And if you remember what I said, NumPy array is a package for sensory computing, which has support for power for powerful n dimension m dimensional array objects. Right. So let's let's go back to our focus. So you can also have float. Yes, I even have it here. You, you can also have float. So float is when you have points. Don't forget points. So maybe this is one point point three. This is four point seven, right? And you see, so it, it can accommodate either an integer or a float data type. It can accommodate that. So we can also have array of complex number. So we can also have array of complex number where you have, if you look at this, we have n pi, we have one, a is equal to n pi, one, two, three. Data type is a complex, it a, and that is why it's giving us a complex number, right? One plus dot d, two plus zero dot d. So it's like a, just a mathematical function, complex number. You can also have an array of zero, yes. Array of zeros, I'm just showing this array of zero by using numpy dot zeros. So it automatically converts everything to zero for you, as you can see here. So we also have array of ones. So in case you want everything to go to one, you want it to be in one, in one value, numpy dot ones, right? So it's going to give you one as that. Yes. So as we're still going to do some mathematical calculation. So let's go. So we have, let's look at this. We have k equals to numpy arrange four. So you can use, you know, if you remember the function of arrange, let me let me let me show this function arrange function. Let me just give a reminder. Let's say q equals to arrange. Let me okay. hmm. it's always it's supposed to be single R. I think it's not defined. Okay, it's for NumPy. Okay, it's supposed to use NumPy. Okay, so I think it's a function. is a function of NumPy. So if you print Q. You can use so instead of if if you know a particular value of interest, you can just use arrange. For in this in this case, I said arrange ten. What that means is start from zero to nine. So automatically it fits in zero to nine into the variable q, right? So the same way you can also do a equals to numpy dot arrange four. So what that means is it's going to say it's going to put the value from zero to three for a, and that is what what you see here. So print a, this is just a string, comma p. That's why a equals to one to zero to three. The same thing goes for b. A numpy are 12. Now, this is at least a function I wanted to know. Now, let me, this is a, this is, in fact, I'm, I, I, I like this. Let me, at times when you are writing your code, you forget that you are, your code you are, you are, is for teaching. So, if you look at this now, let's look at this. Let, let me make this one to be let me make this one to be bigger. Let me make it maybe let's say let's say, let's say this is 14. Right? So it's from one, it's from zero to 14, right? I can say, okay, give make it a dimensional. You know, this is just a this is just a one dimension array, right? I can ask it to give me in different in multiple dimensions, in maybe two dimension or three dimensions. Like what I mean by that is we have more than one colon, more than one row. You know, this is just one row, fifteen colon. So we can we can rearrange this right in into multiple rows and multiple columns. So let's say Q1, right, equals to equals to Q. But the shape, right? Now, that's the function. Reshape. So, array, let me let me put this. 
So array of different shapes. So to get array of different shapes, Yeah, so we chip, right? Function now. When you when you want to put the shape the reshape function, you have to specify your root. Don't forget root comes then followed by colon. So let's say we want to make this into, into two dimension. That's two rows, right? Comma, then how many colon? That I think that can fit seven columns, right? So let me let me print print q1 can you see can you see this now so the converted q which is a one dimensional array to a two dimensional array that's two rows and instead of 14 columns they have seven columns right so another thing you have to be very careful of let, let, let's let's try to let's try to Let's try to create a Q a Q two now. And now let's let's create a Q two, and let's make this one to be to be three. All right. Let's print print. I want you to look at this. I will, I will ask you a question now. Now, look at this. I want to want to create a Q two from Q one, and we say sorry Q. Yeah, from Q, right? Let, let, let's use Q, Q. It's not, it's not going to, yeah. So now look at this now. What, can anybody tell me the, what is the problem here? Python says, cannot reshape aisle of size 14 into shape three and seven. Yeah, if you if you do three, seven, then it's expecting three rows and three uh, columns. Yeah. And you don't have enough to do that thank you very much thank you very much so you have to be very careful of that right so let's see apart from apart from three seven what other rules what other way can can we do four this is 14 right i think you can do four three okay let's try four three four three Okay, it's the same thing. <laughs> so I think what you can only do for 14 is just two and seven. Okay, yes, yeah, because he's expecting there to be the same number of uh, mm -hmm. rows, the same number of columns in each row. Yeah, it can only be two fourteen, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. You are right. Okay, so that's why you should be very careful by the time you are trying to create multi-dimensional array from a, a, a from a set of an array. You have to consider the division. You understand? That is exactly the problem we have. And that this is the similar scenario that we have here, right? A equals to n pi dot array four, yes. So that means this is going to arrange it from zero to three, right? You also have B numpy arrange 12. That's going to be from 0 to 11. Right? From 0 to 11. So if that is from 0 to 11, then we are, we are saying we shape 2 by 6. So print B equals to B. Right? So can you see the first thing is from 0 to 3 because we specify 4. Now for that, do that in 2, 6. So it's from 0. That's one column, two column, from zero to what? To five. And if you count that, going to be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you get that now? And let's do. Let's let's try to let's let's form a C equals to A plus B. Print C. Open could not be brought together with shape. Yes. 
Oh, oh, okay, okay. Do you know what? Do you know what happened? Why we can't add this now? Because yes. they the uh A has four um columns and B has six columns. The, Thank the you columns much. have to match for them to. Thank you very much. Thank you. That is that is it. That that is that is it. So most of the time you can get you see one thing about one thing that is very reasonable about Python is it will tell you exactly where the problem is. And if you look at this, it says value error. Cell in 44. That's this is 44. This is the problem is on line one. C equals to A plus B in yellow. Right? So what that means is you don't need to go and look elsewhere. Just look at where you have yellow. If you look at this place too, this is where the problem is. So that is where you should focus. Then after that, you know the problem, then read the statement. And that will give you clue. So A plus B is the problem. Open will not be broadcasted together with shape. So this is just four, right? Four, this is just four, and this is just four and six, right? That is the problem. So for us to be able to add this together, it has to be, it has to be something that has two rows, six columns. Do you understand the concept now? Thank you. So now let's let's go to Let's let's go to some matrix operations. So in this point now we can do addition, right? So what we are trying to do is we are trying to create three type three types of numpy array. A, we say create numpy numpy array two four comma five comma minus six for A. B is B is also is this right? C. So we now say C equals to a plus b before we do that let me first of all let me first of all print let's print print a right print b and print c can you see so or let's 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 also okay let's do it a equals to Uh, we know which one is which one is b b equals to if a string i have to put equals to and c c equals to right can you see that so our a now is two four then five minus six. So this is one rule, two rule. If you look at B, can you see nine minus three, three, six? And then our C now, how do we have a C? 11, one, right? Then eight, zero. Can anybody explain that to us? How do we have at 11, the, four, the first value is 11. How do we get that for C? Don't forget C is A plus B. Okay, should be adding uh, the two arrays together. Yeah, so. Array A so and array A. So it's going to take, this is A, B, so two plus nine, 11, right? Uh -huh. Four plus minus three, that's going to be one. one. Five plus three, eight, Minus six plus six is zero. So can you see the difference between this place and this place? These have the same dimension, right? But this has different dimension. And that's why this cannot be added together. But this we added together, right? So before we proceed, do we have questions? So you can see we started with list, right? And we also see how we can do some manipulation with list. And we also go further to working with numpy array, right? How you can create a numpy array using the numpy.array function. And how you can do some additions and some other manipulations that we've you know some other stuff like reshape 
how you can convert a, a single a single dimensional array to a multi-dimensional array using the reshape function, right? Any questions so far before we proceed? So please let's let's have just let's have 30 uh, five minutes break, please. Let's have 30, five minutes, just five minutes. So we'll be back by 515. All right. Okay, any questions so far? Do we have any questions, any comments? Okay, let's continue. So just like we did an addition between NumPy array A and B to, to have C, you can as well do a kind of scalar or multiplication, right? So let's say we have NumPy array A, which is two, four, and six. You can decide to add two to make a new one called, let's say C. So we print that. So since our A is two, four, six, and we said C equals to A plus two, so it's going to add two to every single element. So two plus two is four, two plus four is six, two plus six is eight. And that's how we've ar we arrived at the uh, number array C, right? In a similar manner, we can also do, so let's, let's, try, to, let's try to do one more. Let's try to do a more put in dimensional. Let's see a equals to numpy dot harry. Right. So let's say mm -hmm. let's say Right. So let's say B equals to one by dot. C equals to A plus B, right? So let us say D equals to A multiplied by two. So I'm just trying to do different mathematical operation. Let's say E equals to B divided by 10, let's see f equals to a minus b, right? So let's now print a, print b, Print C. So let's first to first to have the value. Let's do this A equals to B equals to C equals to so print so we have d also and d equals to, I just I just, I'm just putting so that we know which value belongs to which which of them? So we decide not to put this. It doesn't really matter. And E equals to E 
Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. So then F print F equals to. So can you see? So this is our A. A is 100, 134, East 33, right? So this is our B. So we've successfully created the number array B, A, and B. Then C. Don't forget C is A plus B. So 100 plus 233, that should be 333. Three, three. And that is why you're having 33 on C. When you add this together, it gives us this. this. And this together gives us this. So for D, we said D is A to the power 2, right? So this is D. So A multiplied by 2, rather. So that's 100 multiplied by 2, that's 200, right? Like that. So E, we said is B divided by 10. And this is B. So divide 233 three divided by 10, that's 23.3. .3. And that is what you see here. So can you see how you can do both? Don't forget yes. to do mathematical operation with number array. They must have the same dimension. So if it is two-dimensional, the two of them must be two-dimensional. Not that one will be two-dimensional and the other one is going to be three-dimensional. It's not going to work like that. So do you see that? So we also this is just a repetition of what to do multiplication. Yes, we can also do. We can also do. Yes, we can also do what is called a dot. Yes, a dot product, right? A dot product. Let me show you something that we did. Let me show you some. Let me show you this. Let me. Show, I want to compare. I want to show the difference between. So let's let's multiply a multiply by b. A multiplied by B. So can you see A, this one, multiplied by B, give us this two rows, this value. But there is a way we can do a total, a total submission. It's called a dot product of all these. And, let's, and that is what we, so now we have this, this one. We have A equals to this 3, 4, 6, B, 1, 4, 6. Now we have C, numpy dot, A and B, right? So C, so C is, a product, is, it is a product of numpy dot of A and B, right? And for C, so what that means is, what is this, what this is going to do is this. It's going to multiply this by this, plus multiplication of this and this, plus multiplication of this and this. So if this is giving us 31, right? You may be asking yourself, how do we arrive at 31? So let's do this together. Two multiplied by one is what? Three. Two multiplied by four is 16. So three plus 16, that's what? 19, right? Am I correct? Now, this multiplied by two, that's 12. 12 plus 19, we give you 31. To get that now. So let's do the same thing for let's do the same thing for, for for this example that we have here. We said our so let's see whether so d equals to num pi dot a b I print b. No, because we have to go back and redefine this. So we have to go back and redefine this. Yeah. Because don't forget, you already created under A, A and C. That's why it's giving us that. So if we go back to redefine that. Shape this and this cannot align. How come? The same dimension. Huh? Okay. I think this was shape two, two, three, and three not aligned. So what that is telling us is when you have in, when you have this, this, you can't do that kind of summation. You can only do it dot product of only this and only this, right? Dot product of only this and this. So let's let's say we let's try 
we want to do the same. We want to do a double product of just this, this, and not this. This um, rule zero and rule zero of A and B. So how do we do that? Then that should be. We can make it to be A, right? Zero, right? B, zero. Let's see. Yes. Do you know what I just did? What this is telling you is when you have one dimension, when you have dimension like this, like a multi dimension, it's not going to do in a dot. What that is saying is you can only do a dot product of this separate, dot product of this separate. You can't do a dot product of all the dimension, all of them together. So you can only do for this. And we can only do for this. So what I did, what I did here, the first thing we did was to do the pivot of everything. But it says it's not it's not it's not going to work for a two three dimension. So what I now did is to do for only this and this. And to do that, don't forget this is a rule zero. This is b rule zero. So that and that's what I did. This is called numpy dot of a rule zero and b. It will index zero, and that is what is giving us this 440,305. 40, 40, and what, what, what happened there is this multiplied by this plus this multiplied by this plus this multiplied by this, and that is exactly what happened and how we got this particular value. Did you get that now? I want to believe everybody is clear with that. So when you have just, you can only do for just one dimensional array of two variables, not when you have more than one, it's not going to work. Another thing you can also do is what is called transpose. Yes, you can do a kind of transpose. Right? So if you look at this, this is A equals to one, one. That's one rule. Another rule is two, one. Another rule is three. Minus three, right? When you now say a transpose of a dot a dot transpose, you know what transpose means? Like to invert something, right? So when you do yeah. that, so this is one, and this this one, right? So this is this is even us. Let me try to. Let me try to print A so that we can get a better understanding. Print A. Okay. This is A, right? So can you see we have two columns and we have two rows. One, two, three. So when you say transimpose, just imagine what happened here. We just shift this like this. So this column, this O column has been converted to a row. So what we are trying to say is when you transpose now, make a column to be a row and make a row to be a column. So this column, one, two, three, has now been converted to a row. One, two, three. This column, one, one, minus three, has now been converted to a row. One, one, three. Do you get that now? In a similar manner, this rule, one, one, has been converted to a colon, one, one. This rule, two, three, has also been converted to a colon, two, one. So two, one, two, one. This rule has as well been as well be converted to a colon, three minus three. Do you get that now? So these are just little ways you can do some kind of manipulations with your data, either a NumPy a, or a, a Pandas, a Panda one. So the same thing is applicable here. I think we've started this in the, so for list at the beginning of this lecture. So this is looking at a equals to NumPy dot So this is two, four, six, eight, ten. So similarly, when you print a equals to zero. So if you look at this, we only have one rule, right? And this is one rule. Right, so when you say a zero, what we are trying to say is 
print index zero. This is index zero, zero, one, two, three, four. When you do this, it's going to give you two. When you say, when you also type A index two, zero, one, two, that should be six. When you say A minus one, that's, don't forget minus is going to start counting from the other side. So 10 is minus one, right? And when you say minus two, this minus one, minus two is going to be what? Eight. That's access matrix index. So that, that's how you can access matrix index. So another example we also have here is we have a NumPy array one, two, four, twelve. You know, so this is good. This is a multi-dimensional NumPy array. So let me first of all, let me print. Let's print print A. Right. So this is A. And don't forget this is rule index zero, rule index one. Rule index two, colon index one, zero, colon index one, colon index two, colon index three, right? So when you say print A, and what you are saying is print colon zero, this is it. And print rule zero and colon zero. What you are saying, you are saying print one indirectly. You know that? When you say print A, Right, colon rule one. This is rule one, colon two, rule one. This is colon two, zero, one, two. And you are saying for nine. So when you say print, print a rule minus one. Now, rule minus one is going to be this. So you can call this one rule minus one. Or you call it row two, you see the same thing. So if you count it from zero, one, two, that's it's going to be index two. If you count it from the behind, it will be minus one, minus two, minus three. So yeah, minus one, minus two, minus three. So when you say print, print row minus one, this is this is minus one. This one now you are saying print. Or in rule minus one, print colon minus one. So you are talking from of 19. Do you get that now? So let's I'm giving you this ex this as example now, and someone should give me the answer. Now print. So let's say we want to print zero. This zero. Yeah. What is going to be our command? You can start reading from the right. You can you can so, read from anywhere. Yeah. Okay. So that since that's the that's the second um the second row. Um. So are you saying so the name of the, are you saying row two? Yeah. So you, I think it should so, be, should be a, a, a two, yeah two, two uh -huh. minus minus one. So let's see if you are right. So you are printing zero, right? You didn't get it. Oh, you didn't get it. But in that case, okay, it's it can 19. be minus zero. It's yeah, 19. It can, yeah. 19, Do you know where the problem, do you know, look at it very well. Your problem is on the, is on the rule, not on the colon. Okay. Okay, it should be one. It should be one. Yeah, right. one minus one, yeah. One minus one. Okay. So because this is zero, one, two. Yeah. Right. So let's do one more. Let's do one more. So let's see what let's say we want to print. I'm looking, I'm looking for it. Okay. Let's say we want to print that four. Four. This four. What to be our what to be our script? Anyone apart from you? Let's let's this should, everybody should be involved. Everybody should be involved. Okay, so Please. for okay. for this one, it should be four. So we want to pick four. It should be zero. Okay, a and zero. Mm -hmm. And two. And two. So let's see if we are correct. 
Wait, no. It's this zero five. and So what's it supposed to be? One. It should be one. Do or the colon. Would the would the two be one? Or okay. yeah. Okay. Don't forget, guys, when you are reading index, it starts from zero. That is the same thing, the same mistake that uh, OB did is what you also did. So it's from zero. So for instance, this is going to be column zero, one, two, three. Row zero, one, two. So it doesn't start from one. So that is the mistake. So don't forget to always switch in that manner. All right. That's that's correct. So this, this is a similar example as well, right? So in this place, we are in this place we are printing, we printed the row. So if you look at this, we said A O. So when you put when you only when you specify only the row and there is no colon, what you are saying is print all the row. So when you say A O, that means print all the whole of row that you specify, row zero. And this is row zero. When you say print A, row two, this is row two. Print A minus two. Can you see? Print A, row two, is the same thing as print A minus one. Can you see? Because if you come from up zero, one, two, that is it. If you come from behind, minus one, minus two, minus three. You see, do you understand what I'm saying? So that's, that's the way it is. Same thing is applicable to this also. So if you want to, likewise, if you want to print colon, right? You can as well print colon also. By, for, for instance, if you want to print this O colon, this colon like this, like this, right? All you need to do is, you won't specify the row. It will be comma, right? Can you see now A? This is our dimension A. You put nothing in the colon, in the row. Then a colon, comma, then you specify the colon. I believe you can you understand what I'm what I what I mean by that. So for this one, for for this is okay. Let me try to put let me try to print A again so that we can understand. This is A, column 0, 1, 2, 3. So if you want to print column 0, you will put, you are only interested in the column, not in the row. So you won't specify column because you want to, you won't specify row. So A, right, A in brackets, not, no figure is going to be for the, for the section of the column, of the row, sorry about that. Then the column 0, that's why we put that's how we printed this one one minus five minus six, and that's one minus five minus six. Can you see that? The same way for this, if you want to print the third one, right? So, third one is this is zero, one, two, three. So, if you put three, so that's why you have 12, zero, 19. The same thing with minus one. So, this minus one, two, we also start from here 12, 19, 19. Can you get that now? So this is the same approach for this. So you can is the same. You can use and apart from that, you can also use the normal regular index that we use, and it's still the same thing. Don't forget, column rule. So what this means, what this means is this. So when, this is letter one to five, right? So when you say print letter bracket two column. Please don't forget when I'm talking of column, there is this normal English column, right? And the normal column, right? Column and column. So two column five. That means start printing from index two and stop at index four. So index one, two, so you start from three, two, three, four. That's three, five, seven. So it's two, sorry, two. Which is zero, one, two. So that's five. Three nine. That's that. So the same thing is applicable. The same thing goes for this. 
So okay. The same thing goes for so in this place now, they are not specifying from where to print. Can you see? We only said minus five. And if you look minus five, this is minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. So from minus five, right? So it will be from if you see minus five, it will be of minus four down. Minus four, so it's going to be three and one. And that's why you have three and one here. The next one says five. So what you're seeing is from index five upward. So index zero, one, two, three, four, five. Right? So only print that means only print five. Right? So print five upward. Five upward. Don't forget to start from five, seven, five, and that is it. This. So if you look at this. When you now put it an open bracket, no figure, not no number, that means you are saying print everything. That's what you mean. The same thing as this, print everything. And you see, you understand, it's the same principle, right? Except for just little things, depending on which functions you are using. So it's the same approach that we've used for this also. Yeah, it's the same approach for this. So let me just take us through the mathematical solving set of linear equation. Yes. You can also use this to sort to in fact, let me just spend the next 10 minutes on this. Now, this is if you if you remember this equation is more like a simultaneous equation, right? I in this is high school course, there's calculate mathematics. So you are giving this equation, right? Two a plus b plus c equals to four. A plus three b plus two c equals to five. A equals to six. Find a, b, and c. Find b and c. So you know that your a is equals to six, right? So what you can do in this case is to sort is to make this in form of a non a, a numpy array. So take away all the num letters, right? So just say let's look at this. This two. One, one, two, one, one, right? This is one, three, zero. One, three, zero. For B, C, one, two, zero. One, two, zero. So let's form a new variable called A. A, so this number I is going to be A, two, one, one, that's zero index row, one, three, two, one index row, one, zero, zero, two index row, right? Now, since we have A, B, C, so let's make X equals to A, B, C, right? So a new variable, A, B, C. Then another variable, B equals to the value 4, 5, 6, right? So A, X equals to B. X equals to A, no, don't let me, don't, don't let me mix this place. So let's now go back to this place. Now, look at this. We want to form a numpy array for A. We say A is 211, one, right? 211, one, comma, 132, 132, one, comma, 100, 100, zero, 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 comma. So that is our A, this A, right? Do we get that now? So our B now, our B is now, our B is at four. Five six b equals to n non pi array four five six right now what you are trying to do is linear algebra calculation and linear algebra calculation on non pi is the function is lin notch dot solve this is a function you can read this for that this is the function so let me this is the function so. Now we have two, two, two equations, two values, A and B. So all you need to do now is, want, don't forget, you want to get the val value of X, A, B, C, right? So X equals to, just put this function, numpy dot linear algebra dot solve in bracket A, comma B. When you print, when you, when you do this, it will automatically give, give you the value of X. So can you see x is 6, 15 minus 23. So indirectly, our a is 6, 
right? And don't forget, even the calculation already shows us so that A is equal to 6. Our B is 15, and our C is minus 23. So if you input these values, if you add 2A, that's 2 times 6. A is 6, 2 times 6 is 12, right? Plus B. So B is 15. 6 plus 15, that's 20 what? Anybody there? Sorry, uh, that's 21. Sorry, sorry, 12. Don't forget, A is 6. 12. 2 times 6, that's okay. 12. 12 plus 15 is what? 30. 12 plus 15. Wait. 12 15. plus 15 is 7, 7, uh, 27. 27. Plus C. Our C is minus 23. So 20, 24 minus 23 is what? Yeah, oh. 4. You, can you see that? Can you see how we use this? NumPy array and algebra calculation to solve this equation. If you, if you substitute the value of A, 6, B, 15, and C minus 23, if you add, do the same thing here, your value is still going to equal to 5. Do you get that now? So that's how you can do some simple mathematical calculation using. So NumPy array is, NumPy, sorry, NumPy package is used for mathematical calculation. I'm telling you, of n dimen multi dimensional dimensional array, right? And there are data like that that comes in that in that in that manner. A lot of data that comes in that manner, and this makes it easier for you. We can solve this using our hand normally, but by just using another way of doing this using this numpy array function. Do we have any question? This way we're going to stop for this week, and I'm going to this video will be available today and i'm going to send you this script again and i will send you the solutions to the last two exercise and i will send you two more exercise that you will do for the next two weeks please and please use this opportunity of these two weeks to practice right if you are interested in learning this i'm telling you i won't lie to you you need to practice this you shouldn't stop on lesson with dr the on fridays no even like I said, remember last week I was asking Dr. Scott, and he testified to it. There are times you have, we too we do it ourselves, and we have to conduct our test groups, and that's the way it is. But you have to understand the principle of the whole thing. So, any questions so far? Any question? Do we have question from anybody? Okay, if there is no question. Okay, I think you have someone in the chat. Okay, Timmy said no, sir. Okay. Is it no sir for everybody to me? <laughs> All right. When 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 yeah, when, when, yes, I, yeah. when I ask any question and nobody is saying the question, I'm thinking maybe you guys don't understand or you need time to go and digest this information. I know every single good lessons there are a lot of information to go and look again, right? I understand. Okay. So guys, thank you very much. So please work very well and send me your assignments. That's going to be in the week, first week of August. That's what you're going to send for me the assignments, right? So take time to practice. God bless you all and have a glorious weekend. See you guys later. Thank you, sir. You too. You thank you, sir. You too. Thank you, Dr. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.